Argamas just looking to farm up and try and win out in the, the mid lane push in that 3v3 to unlock these sides for G2. Whereas for BDS, I mean, does it get any more team fight than what we see? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> like Cogmore, Zillion, Varus, eight win mark that Excel and Vitality are already at. So they need to win this and then win three more games as Flack is caught out a little bit down towards the bottom side. Exmadian Limit on the chase. Flack and No Flash does have the heal, but the Time Warp will slow him down. One more Time Warp would be enough, but Targamus there in time to stop Exmadian in his tracks. Flack it survives. Targamus once again coming to the help of his AD carry. Thick Skin will keep him alive for the moment. And he does just fall in the end. First blood to Exmati. Way too late on the flash from Targamus. And I mean, it was a nice attempt from Limit to get the double bomb, but actually Caps funny nuclear inch. Yeah, Caps loses these as Synchrov's coming in as well. Caps steals away the Onslaught of Shadows. Will try and escape, uses it to get back to the relative safety of his tower. Nuclear int though. Can still put a bit of damage down, of course, Caps or oh, six. If Flacken is left underneath this terror with heal opted for instead of Clangs. I wonder with the Cogmo whether it's just like we, we have enough poke on our team. Ability to charge back on into the lane, and he will use it. But that tower is going to fall. You have to feel decimating smash lands. Yankos could look for the chase here. That Rift is going to kill off the tower. Yankos Crescent Guard actually Rift Held doesn't quite get it. And Adam now can back away. Ignite was ticking there from the unsealed spell, but Broken Blade will take the tower. 610 gold into his pocket, and he's looking to add 400 more to that. Yankos diving forward. He will flash away and is able to survive Soul Furnace Shield. Not enough to keep Adam alive. Broken Blade with his first kill of the game. And the rest trying to get them back in their pocket, but BDS are here to fight. The power of Zillion alongside a Hecarim. You can see how speedy that horse can be. Cap steals away. The Onslaught of Shadows once again, and BDS do not want to take the fight. Looks like they're content just to give this one up and keep on scaling into this game. I don't to pull the trigger on these plays. Synchrov in a good position once again as it looks like there's going to be a fight in the mid lane. Onslaught of Shadows available for Caps. Our observer showing us that he might be going in. He will. Synchrov caught down towards the bottom side. Onslaught of Shadows going in, but where's Exmatic? Where's Limit? They're nowhere near. Nuclear Limit forced away. Caps takes the kill in the mid lane. Synchrov gets the chrono shift on him. He's ticking away as here comes the unstoppable Onslaught. Adam runs all the way through, and now Caps still got the kill in the mid lane. Broken Blade taking a tower in the top lane. Caps continues to push in the mid lane. Broken Blade pushing in the top lane. BDS pushing in the bot lane. And there's a lot of pushing going on, but only one kill ended up going down. But this is not how you're supposed to think about League of Legends. In theory, you make one play on one lane. And it's been very quiet for an Adam performance. Usually we see him on something a little bit more aggressive, but here seems to be willing to play for the team. Targamus, QSS, stopwatch. Tower goes down, excited is Flackhead. Flame Chomp is used as well. Double bomb on Targamus. He's popped the thick skin and he's safe for the moment. You can see the Living Artillery starting to do a bit of work from Nuclear Rent as he's already completed his Luden's Tempest. Yankos diving back in, Limit flashes away. No Chrono Shift used as of yet, ever plus for the slow. Then onto Adam, Chrono Shift comes out, but he's running away at the same time and they can just wait this one out. Adam slowed, oh, just in time, is resurrected, but the rest of BDS really can't follow this one up. Super Mega Death Rocket goes wide, Onslaught of the Shadows goes in. Synchro split from his team once again, and it looks like BDS just back can't... to what I was about to say. Yeah, was, I think Xmati has the poke. If he has that poke build, it's much better when you kite back in those scenarios. You can play at the longer range, but we just don't have that opportunity that here. Which is in my head, but apparently, according to my producer, and I will stress, I'm not the one who's saying this. It's about 100,000 flappages. <laughs> Right now, Synchrov, Babs hoping for somewhere to fly away as Caps goes in with the Onslaught of Shadows. Yankos coming in as well. Caps has to pop the stopwatch and Synchrov comes back. Chrono Shift used. Crescent Guard. Yankos is in the middle of BDS. He does have the flash. Instead, he goes for Synchrov. Will sacrifice himself for it. Caps flashing forward himself as Broken Blade joins the party down towards the bottom side. BDS, one for one trade so far. Targamus has a flash. And a corruption already used. Unstoppable Onslaught. Flash away from by the Tom Kench. And Chains corruption on Nick's Maddie. It's really hard now for them to try and contest. So this composition from G2 that traditionally would struggle to be able to contest an objective. That would be a sight to behold, I am sure. Broken Blade pushing in here. You can see where is Caps? You know where Broken Blade is. Where's Yankos? Where's Caps? Where's Flacken? Where's Hargamus? Are they hitting the Baron? It looks like they are from the spectator climb, but BDS cannot see those projectiles. BDS cannot even see their own jungle. They can't even see the entries. They can't even see Targamus. And this Baron already down to 2,000. Synchrov looking for the steal. He goes in. He gets it! He gets it! And Synchrov may have just grasped 
some semblance of hope for BDS, not only in this game, but in their hunt for playoffs. And BDS knew that was going down. Adam smited the minion to get his TP back, but they knew they were going to be too late. But Syncroft with the hero play now will give Baron a cross, but G2, they have the numbers advantage and they will start to get these outer turrets. This is everything used onto Caps. He has a stopwatch though. Adam, looking to step forward. Targumus with a good gobble up there. The Devourer will stop him. Broken Bay putting the damage in from the side. Come up and it's going to get blocked by the tower. Adam has to flash away and Blackhead gets excited. Targumus down though. Blackhead continues to push forward. Adam, Chrono shifted up. Doesn't really have a way to get into this fight. Blackhead, the timing <laughs> was perfect, but Adam just a little bit too tanky for that super mega death rocket. Swing BDS now setting up around the Dragon, but look away Caps is, Dagda. Caps is in such a good spot. Front to back is what BDS yeah, wants, but Caps doesn't want it. He may just pick off nuclear in. Oh, the chain's just short. The dragon taken. Nuclear Inc. cannot join this fight yet. Caps steals away the chain of corruption. Synchro tries to force him away. Chain of corruption is going to land shut down onto Broken Blade as he will fall, but Caps gets an answer and kill. Adam on the front. Synchro makes Maddie and Limit trying to get away. Chrono Shift just about to come up. Cooldown. Tick, tick. It's back, but too late. Caps takes one. The Chrono Shift will bring X Maddie back, but Caps is not done. A quadra for Caps as he puts G2 on his back once again. We thought that BDS might have been able to do it with the Baron Steel, with the set for the fight with nuclear and not getting caught but just he found everything he needed everything g2 needed to secure the win and secure their ninth win of the season g2 will take it bouncing back us after grasping defeat from the jaws of victory yesterday they claim their win today and bds are out of playoffs yeah caps was not gonna let that one happen you can see it there 702 on the silas Great positioning for the fight, the ability to sneak in behind the front line, and as soon as that front line gets separated from the back line, you can see there's just nothing there. Xmatty's trying to run the hell away. You don't have the peel that you really need because you're working with a zillion on the back line.